Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And Dr. Lori has selected a bit of variety for us today. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? Oh, we're great. We're excited to play What's It Worth? David thinks How's he's going to pull girl? through today. How's the birthday girl? Was it this week or last week? It's this week. It's um, Sunday. My birthday's on Mother's Day this year. Yeah, oh, that's great. Happy Mother's Day to everybody, and happy birthday on Mother's Day to you. Thank you. Frankie's excited because it means one gift, is what he said. Oh, Paul's going to shower you with gifts. Frankie's Tell always thinking, gifts. yeah. Flowers. He's like, yes! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get to it here. All right, the first up, we have a lamp sent in by Donna. So tell us about this lamp, Dr. Lori. This is a pierced lamp. If you look at the thing in the back in the corner, that's the top that goes on top of this base, and then the lamp is in the middle. It is ceramic and it's pierced, so the light comes through all of the open areas. Oh, it's wow. hand painted, it's from the mid 20th century. Yeah, do you see it? It's kind of cute, like a little tea light. Um, it's marked Italy. It's about six inches tall and it dates to about the 1950s to the 1970s. Interesting. When, when you say it's marked yeah. Italy, like you just sort of slid that in. Does that like would, would that make it more valuable? Does that mean it's from a designer or was this like just mass produced and it doesn't that doesn't matter? It just says Italy on the bottom, David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, and Dr. It is not Lori. made by a, It's not made by a particular important designer, <laughs> but in fact, um, it does impact value when a piece is marked. It is produced in large numbers, so there's others out there. But a good question, as always, David Highfield. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now my go-to is, it's, is it made of oak? And I knew I couldn't there ask is. that. Yeah. There, there it is. is. <laughs> All right, do so you have your number? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, you go ahead, Heather. $65. I said $70. $75. Is wow, David oh, Highfield on point. the board early. Oh. All right, next up we have a doll. This was sent in by Marion. Okay, Marion's doll is beautiful and in wonderful condition. It's a Buckwalder German design doll. It's a limited edition. It's number 243 of 300. It's wow. made of vinyl. It dates to the middle part to the late 20th century. 243 of 300, right, is not very low in the actual limited edition run. So she's close to getting to be the, the 300 mark where they stop the limited edition. You wanna have the lowest number Okay. of the limited edition when a low okay. number of men are made and a low number that you have right so that's what we're looking at she's pretty she's in a beautiful hat and a nice coat and such looks kind of like easter my mother used to dress up up all to the nines at easter with the coats for church um when it comes to dolls so out of the box right now and i don't know if, if right. she came in a box but also i know that you've yes. talked before about baby dolls and dolls in general and what they're made of some of them were made out of porcelain but then had cloth other parts mm -hmm. of their body what about right. for this one? This one's vinyl. And uh, usually they have a, uh, mostly the body's vinyl and sometimes the head can be vinyl, but usually the head is made of a ceramic for the upper scale dolls. Okay. She also has a natural wig. So actually human hair they used for dolls. Wow. She's a very nice doll. She, you'll also notice that she's holding paperwork, information about the limited edition, information about oh. the actual German firm that made her. That usually impacts value a little bit. I don't see the box. I'm assuming that there was a box because limited edition dolls usually come in a box. Okay. Okay. All right. Good question. I don't know. Uh, I, I may have gone guess. too high. What would you uh, say? Yeah, I, I, I just I don't know. I said one hundred fifteen dollars. I said three twenty five. One hundred and fifty dollars, but some dolls can be as high as three hundred. This one just isn't. Just oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, All right, uh, David. We still yeah. have one left, but you won. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you never know until it's over, but no, I did win. That's true. Uh, all right, we have a print sent in by Terry. We're going to take a look at this. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to speak the truth, Dr. Lori. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay, let's talk about the hat seller. I like hats. I think hats are fun. Um, so Turner Art made this particular piece called the Hat Seller. It's a color lithographic print. It's framed 19 to 24 inches, mass produced. There are a lot of them out there, but look how fun and cute. It is fun and cute. Okay, I know we don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna guess. Oh, so, oh I okay, have. Just gonna uh, guess. You, don't, you have like 20 seconds. David. I have questions. 20 just, seconds. Just, uh, just write a number. And you, you want already, doesn't matter. 
And you, you can't do, lose. And you have to do everything that Heather says this week because it's her week. Really? Is that is that true? Wait, yes. no, Dr. Lori. Wait a yes. minute, Dr. Dr. Lori. Dr. Lori, I don't everything. think that's true. I said $65. Yes. She's a double whammy. She's a birthday and a mother. Forget it. She's doing it. Mother's oh my Day gosh. Yeah. All right, I said $60. Uh, and Heather wins the last point at 75 bucks. Oh, oh right. okay. All right. That was close enough. You know what? And the Fun. important thing is we always learn something. I like and, and you win. And, and we get to win. spend time That's with you, Dr. Lori. That's what we love the hey, most. Soak up this win, David. Oh, I is know. that a challenge? Soak it up. Heather Abraham. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Lori. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Have a good week. Happy all right, you too. all the moms. <laughs> And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.